Today we're going to be working on a very, very good recipe. This is beef with bourbon whiskey. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add some dry, well this is from my garden, some thyme. We're going to add it at the bottom. And then we're going to be adding some cut onions. And then we will cut the beef. We will remove all of the fat as much as we can. We will cut it in about five pieces so that we can have one flat layer. And then we'll be adding the additional ingredients. We're going to be adding the onions. We're going to leave some to leave on top of the meat. Next step, we're going to be adding one cup of bourbon whiskey. So here is one cup of bourbon. And then we're going to have as well one cup of hot water to which I am going to be adding one tablespoon of veal stock. Now, if you're not able to find this kind, um, you can use beef stock as a replacement. So it'll be two cups with two tablespoons. So I'll start with the first cup, dissolving it. Then I'll heat up another cup of water and I will be adding another tablespoon of beef stock. Once dissolved, we're adding it to the bourbon. And one more time, we need one more cup with one more tablespoon. You do not need to add any additional salt, as this one, it's already very tasty and very salty. So two tablespoons is more than enough. The next and last step is to add the beef. In this case, I am going to be removing most of the fat because the purpose of this recipe is to get it in the freeze dryer. I always try to use recipes where I do not have to add any additional fat and I try to cut as much as the fat as possible. So I gave it a little rinse and now I am going to Cut as much as I can of this. Now you may want to add a little bit more liquid. You want to make sure, well, I guess this is fine. You just want to make sure you don't have any pieces of meat is sticking out without any liquids. So with that, what we're going to do is we're simply going to add one last item, which is maple syrup. The one I like using is an organic. This, you can use the regular, just make sure that it's actual maple syrup. I got this one at Sam's Club, but you can use the one that you prefer. I am going to be adding a quarter of a cup of maple syrup and then we're going to be adding the remaining onions. It is optional if you would like to add some potatoes. I prefer to leave it as it is for now. Now, after this has been cooking for a while, you still will have the option, maybe a couple of hours before you turn it off, you will be able to still add the potatoes because they don't take much time to be cooked. We're going to cover it. I am leaving it on low and I am going to be cooking it overnight and I will see you in the morning. 
I'm going to start shredding the meat. Now I am going to be removing the thyme, um, the herbs that I put, because the next step is going to be to mix all of this with a blender. I'm gonna be using a hand blender. I'll put it on the fridge so that all this fat can harden and I am able to remove it. After you left the broth for a few hours in the fridge, all of the fat as you can see gets solid so that's when we are able to remove it next step is we are going to be blending remember we put onions uh, some spices so we're going to be blending everything There you have it. Next step is we're going to be putting this in a mold so we can pre-freeze it before we put it in the freeze dryer.